so this is the finished back part actually it's not completely finished there's a donut I didn't cut it long enough so there's a little gap there but um we've got three compost bins there and I'm pretty happy with temporary um pallets covering it just to give it some shade whilst also letting it get some air um, and today I'm going to be cutting that front edge with my petrol trimmer ideally I want to bring bring the plastic all the way over to be honest I'm thinking do I even need to trim this down I just put the plastic straight over it so I did cut it off um, completely ruined my bed with grass in it. I tried to put some board over it but it just kind of went everywhere but it's even in the bed the next one down I'm going to try and put some plastic on here just to kind of get closer so I don't have to trim this all the time Hi everyone, 2020 Zine speaking I'm sounding a bit croaky to today so I apologise um, this is my plan B of the roof, so I've given up on my internal gutter and instead I've got um, what they call a horizontal like drainage outlet there and the idea is to poke that through my little parapet wall and have the water just fly straight off the shed <laughs> which is what I should have done first <laughs> but hey ho um, uh, so yeah, anyone who's obviously doing the roof, uh, doing roofs of a shed, um, keep it simple. I was trying to be swanky mainly because I was trying to learn some stuff and push myself in that way. Um, and secondly, because I was trying to hide my solar panel, which was um, a nice bit of kit. So I wanted to make sure that people can see it when they looked up. Um, on top of that, I just like the, the square look of the shed. Um, so by by um, no means do this guys if you want, want an easy option but for me it was um, cool. So I'll, I'll be going into more detail on how to make the roof watertight in the next video but for now hope you're enjoying.